Hello, hello, welcome to Mr. 8. In today's video, I will show you one of the amazing multi login softwares out there. This software allows you to do a lot and a lot of cool stuff, a lot of crazy stuff, and uh, it's straightforward, easy to use. And today, I will walk you through it. So, the first thing you want to do is you want you to go to the description. I have a link for you. So, you click here, it will take you to the download page. Just download it, sign up. It takes two, three minutes, very light uh, version, light software. And the moment you install it, it will show something like this. It's going to look like a blank page. There's a lot, a lot of weird stuff here. I will, uh, I got you covered, so don't worry about it. So the second step you want to do is you sign up, you log in, okay? Then we have this dashboard. So I want you to go here and I want you to look at this IP. So this IP is your computer or your uh, proxy IP. So if you are using this software on a RDP or a VPS, I want you to make sure that this is the current IP, it won't change. Why? Because we'll need this for the proxy platform later. So you wanna know what is your IP? Is it going to change or no? Because I do uh, have a lot of proxies and sometimes I change them. So I wanna make sure that this IP here, this software IP is uh, won't change later. So we have this numbers here and we have around five or six pages and each page has 10, which means we have 60, 50, 859 uh, profile what does it mean so basically each profile here is considered as a laptop as a computer as an ipad a phone i don't know fridge washing machine smart one and you can use it to uh, browse the internet you can use it to create some uh, click on some ads uh, download subscribe like whatever you like so each profile is customized and how you can achieve something like this is going to be very very easy i'm going to walk you through it so we have the profiles and these are the results of your work and you will see them later if you don't have anything then just i will show you how to do it project is all these profiles are categorized so let's say you have 60 profile right and maybe 10 use them only for social media like you create a social uh, media account facebook twitter etc the other 10 use them to load to download apps so you want to just download apps give google map reviews give give the google uh, app reviews etc so you want to organize your work you don't want to work in random so you can uh, create have that on a project just imagine it as a category okay the accounts is uh, something very very cool so let's say you have uh, you just buy accounts online there is some people they sell accounts social media accounts uh, i don't know uh, you can buy them and have them here add account and you don't want to create them by yourself up to you if you are free have a lot of free time you can just buy them i mean like create them by yourself or you can just buy them from other people and you can paste them here the proxies is the most important part here you want to focus on the proxies so i want you to go to the description okay and i have a link for you when you click on this link it will take you to this page and you click sign up and basically what's going to happen this website give you 10 proxies for free you can use them to uh, practice to learn how to use the platform how to use the apps and uh, i'll show you here i have around 300 and i've been using this for a while see over 1100 days and i've been using this platform for over four years so what do we need the proxy for so you can use one window right here one profile just your own ip but the moment you start creating three four five six a gmail account or six youtube accounts or twitter you will get banned or uh, basically the accounts won't work properly so you need proxies to hide your identity and i'm pretty sure you know what does it mean so you can use the platform i'm using it work like a charm and how to add the proxies so you have two options if you have time you have maybe 10 20 proxies you can just add them one by one here if you are like me you have over 300 then you need to batch or bulk add so how to get the proxies uh, you remember i told you that you need to copy this ip so this ip will copy it like this Control c and i want you to go to the proxy provider and you go to settings ip authorization and you add your ip here you wanna i will remove it and you add your ip so if you are using a proxy on your computer then you want to add the proxy ip here so you can uh, whitelist your ip just pion and save it here now nobody can log into my proxies except me and uh, boom it will work like a charm so you remember you add this option here add your ip here then you go to uh, proxy list and you want to select 
uh, username and password or IP authentication up to you. I mean, it's your call. I will just do a password like this and direct connection. I will do this, select all of them and I will click download. And when you download it, it will give you like this. So if you go ahead and copy these proxies and you add them like this here and you click parse, it will work, right? But something is off. This is this number, something is off and you click save, it won't work. So what you have to do is you see here they have their own their own format. So you basically you need to add Sox5 Sox5 to each link. But I have 300. I don't have time to do this. So what you can do is you go to DeepSeek. I tried it with ChatGPT. It didn't work well. So what you can do is you just say that uh, hey uh, hey I want you to add this to all these proxies and you click uh, enter then shift and you want to copy all these guys and uh, paste them like this and it will automatically add the SOX files to all the IPs I have 300 I cannot do this <laughs> one by one so you can copy it it will work well and let's see and I will copy it and now let's see what's going to happen with control chin parse you see there was no one two three bullshit and I will click test no yeah they're working so I have to click save I don't want, I don't want to click save because it will mix with other proxies and I don't like to do that so you click save and it will automatically save or if you want to add one by one it's your call I mean no big deal you can just you don't have to add anything when you do one by one by one it will automatically detect what kind of proxy like this and boom socks five and uh, ta -ta. and now we go to extension so basically extension is your computer or your browser you have extension like like me here vid iq we have edit cookies we have ads block etc you can just add them from here so either you upload them locally like a file or you add a uh, uh, chrome uh, store uh, extension link you just paste it here it will work and you can add I mean I like to add auto mute because I do YouTube uh, visits views and we have ads block I don't want to see ads I don't want to uh, ban the Google Ads account and I, I use edit the cookies so I want to copy the cookies between profiles sometimes I do that teams uh, I don't know if you work with other people like two three four you can have someone else to manage these accounts instead of you you can just add them here and I think they can log in I didn't try it honestly and you can use it if you want the logs I won't click because it will show basically everything you are doing in your computer like uh, add create remove and settings basically just like you want to add your name you know, like a logo whatever the synchronizer is the amazing option here. This is my favorite option here. Basically, you have 10 or 15 or 60 like me, a profile, and you can have them all working together. Like they work like a team. So let me show you here. One, two, three, four. So you can have them all sync together. So let me show you here. Hopefully it will be recorded because when I do the Camtasia and the the syncing it won't work like it somehow it stops it's moving for me but you guys won't see it so what we are gonna to do what we're gonna do is let me see I will click here I will go to synchronizer a window will pop up and I will hide this one and I will click here I will click start syncing four profiles so remember it was saying number one Okay, so we have four here. So it depends on your internet speed. It may take one to three minutes. It depend also on your computer power. So somehow this guy is kind of slow. So what I'm going to do is I will do this and I will go directly B I N C O N. Okay. And uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff. So sometimes if you open 10, 20, 30 windows, because of your, uh, you are putting a lot of pressure on your computer, on your bandwidth speed, internet speed. So you can use the input option. So basically, it's going to uh, have more uh, power, uh, like flexibility. It will uh, apply all the text. So sometimes, if you do this, it won't sync. So some of them, you see, this guy is not working with us here. He somehow is in a coma. So basically, what you can do is instead of like 
trying to do it over and over and over you can just click input and it will have uh, it will show you a box where you can type and write and it will automatically be applied like this apply to all these guys so chun 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 mr n.ca and i will click here so it removes everything there and i will do this and you see and i will just simply go here and boom and voila you see so it's very very uh cool option cool tool you can use it and now i will show you how to create a profile so this is very very important you want to have the proxies okay and you want uh to set up the extensions and up to you you can add the accounts or not so these are the three uh, basic stuff the fourth step or the fourth thing you want to do is you want to create profile but this is very very important to know you can either use the basics so if you are a newbie you can you do the basics like create the basic you won't change anything here it is minor things or or you can go the advanced so you have a lot of uh, advanced option here you can change them but do not just go ahead and change them unless you know what you are doing otherwise your account will get banned so i highly recommend you just start with the basic stuff like what i'm doing now then later when you learn you can improve and uh, change things so we have this window here this window is uh, showing the fingerprint so on my computer i'm using uh, google chrome uh, windows 11 and uh, i don't know from from canada vancouver etc so all the details you can control from here so i can just click this one and it will give me a new identity so what you want to do is you want to create a name like this and I will choose the operating system, Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, etc. So let's choose Windows. And we have 10, 11, 7. You want to choose which uh, operating system version. And here we have the Chrome uh, Roxy browser. Like uh, you can use, I use the latest one. And user agents, you can, I don't know, whenever you click here, it will change. Or you can just click here and it will give you a new user agent. Or you can just uh, copy it from Google if you want. There is a lot, a lot of websites give you free uh, user agents. Now the proxies so it's up to you either you select uh, randomly or you have some uh, some proxy in your mind you can just select this you see here they're all showing me here all the ips that i'm used so basically this proxy is assigned to this profile so you don't want to mix proxies so otherwise your accounts you get banned so make sure that you know what you are doing i mean you know which proxy you are assigning and you won't use it again other places other profile it's been selected now you can add the proxy so if you go here i can go to this website and I can do this and i browse down and i can just do export and i copy the proxies i mean sorry the cookies from this browser you can do this you can do the same thing i use it all the time and you can paste it here now the basic settings so the basic settings you can uh, leave it as it is but later you want to change it if you want i mean if you learn if you know what you are doing uh, I don't change anything here. I don't change anything, but just for the sake of this video, we won't change anything. We leave it as it is and we click create profile now. Okay, so this guy is the last guy here. What I want to do is I want to go to, I like to have everything organized. So, okay, I don't even remember which uh, name was, was called. So, anyway so we'll just go back here and i will visit this guy i will click open and see what's going to happen yeah so you see we already installed extension and uh, we'll apply here and i will just go to I always start with Bing because if this is your first time to open the browser, always go to Bing, always go to Yahoo to create some history because whenever you go to Google straight, uh, straight forward, uh, like directly, it will get you uh, a captcha. So we'll try to go to Bing, uh, Yahoo to have some history in your browser because if you go to whenever you go to Google later, it won't ask you for a captcha because it can read that you already uh, been there. If you are a blank version browser, uh, no history, it will definitely uh, flag your account, flag your uh, history, whatever. Then I will go there like this, I don't know, Mr. 8. And uh, where am I? Okay, I am here. I will click this. And that's it. Boom, you have something ready. You can use it for your, uh, 
whatever you are magic you're trying to do cook or whatever yeah that's pretty much everything if you have any question post it in the comment all the necessary tools the where to download this one the proxy platform you will find it in the description and if you have any comment please make sure to uh, feel free to ask and it will be uh, whenever i'm free i will try to answer your questions thank you very much and see you in the next video